Hey guys, I'm Oblivion 903 here once again, and this is part 4 of my Alien Isolation playthrough. This is mission 3 of the game, this one is called Encounters. And um, I think it's safe to say that the name says it all. Uh, at the end of part 2, our good friend Axel, uh, unfortunately, got absolutely decimated by the alien and they uh, dragged away. Which uh, was pretty brutal, and uh, thankfully we managed to get away from it. However, I don't think that's going to be the last that we're going to see of it. I think um, this mission is where we're going to come across it properly this time. Um, so, what I'm doing first is basically just going to head up here. It looks like this might be the direction I need to go. Just going to head through here first. And I'm going to crawl through this vent and see where this takes me. Right, some ethanol there. I'll collect that. Just going to turn on my torch. Right, looks like there's the exit for the vent just there. So I'm going to turn my torch off just to conserve... Uh, but because I'm not totally sure how many I've got or how often I'll come across them. So I want to try and conserve that as much as possible. Right. There's someone else here. Right. I'm going to approach with caution because I imagine she's going to be hostile. Right. There she is. Oh shit. I think she spotted me. Yeah, she has. Right. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to crawl in this vent. I don't want it to come in there, find me. So I'm just going to hide out here momentarily. Right, so the music seemed to die off a little bit now. So I don't know whether that means that there is no threat now, whether she's uh, lost where I am. But how she even saw me, I'm not totally sure because I gave no indication that I was there. She was turned around and as soon as I sort of crept up the stairs, she spotted me. So whether she heard the alien and then... Um, Maybe turned around in panic and spotted me then. I'm not totally sure. However, the room looks pretty empty now. I can't see anyone. Um, however, I did hear a say, guys, over here. Which makes me believe there's at least two other people with her. So I think there's at least three. However, there could be more. Which is uh, not good. Because I haven't got any form of proper weapons. Uh, I've got... My uh, item that I used to remove the braces, but it's not really a weapon. And um, she clearly had a gun. So if it comes to a one-on-one -on -one fight, I'm not going to be able to take her out. Right, this is access tuner. Um, this is what she was using to hack the elevator. Which I believe this is where we need to go according to the objective. But right, I need to find a data cell to repair it. Right, I can hear voices. Where they're coming from. Okay. Right, they're on that balcony up there. So I'm going to head up the other side here. I'm going to try and keep my distance as best I can from them. Hopefully that will uh, give me a better option of a uh, means of escape. But right, there's a rewire here. Could this help me? Let's give this a go. Let's see if I can do this quickly before anyone spots me. Right, could this work? I've turned on the speaker system. I don't know really what it's going to do, but it must be there for a reason. That guy there possibly saw me. I don't think he has. There's another guy there. So I'm pretty trapped at the minute. Right, he looks like he's walked away. So did that really why you do anything? I'm assuming you use them as means of distraction, however, it didn't seem to do much. Right, he's there. And he spotted me. Right, there we go. I've killed him. They know I'm here. However, this door is open, so I don't care. I'm going to make a run for it. Because they're going to be hot on my trail now. Right, well, that's a turn for the books. Um, I thought they were going to come chase me, but I just heard her say that she's not coming down here. So, I'm really not going to complain. I think you could have done that in a stealthier manner. However, it is what it is. At least it's done. So, I'd say that's possibly one of your better tactics to go. If you go around the back there, you've only got one guy to deal with. 
But um, like I said, there was at least three, possibly four in that room. And I only had to tackle one of them. And I managed to do that section without taking a hit. So right, now I need to uh, search tech support for a new data cell. This is tech support. So I'm going to head up here. And I'm going to try and find a new data cell. There's a save point here. And which you're going to see me use quite a lot throughout this game. Because if you die, you end up at the last save point. Which is obviously why you want to save as much as you can. Because you could end up quite far back in the game. And obviously if I die, I'm going to have to do the walkthrough again. Up until the point that I uh, died. So basically, the less I've got to do, the better. Because it means that I can give better content to you guys. I'm not spending most of my time repeating myself. So anyway, on that note, I'm just going to click yes to save the game now. And I'm going to move on. So basically, I'm explaining why I am going to be... A saving offer and it's something that you should do either way. There's no reason why you shouldn't save. It's not a bad thing But right looks like I've got a revolver. So I've actually got a proper weapon now. There's also a key card here Which I'm sure will come in handy. There's gonna be some use for it Right, there's a door here which looks locked and um, use the key card. Yeah, that, that's cool. I'll go for that one So right now it looks like I'm in some sort of lab. So I'm assuming this is possibly tech support just going to take a look around and uh, see what's in here. Right, there's a dead guy here. Right, that's either a bullet hole or the tail from the alien. Um, as you remember, Axel got killed. The tail went right through him. So that could be what it is, as there's multiple ones. They look a bit big to be gunshot. Right, just going to collect the items here. There's a blueprint as well for a flashbang. So right, now I've got hold of them. I'm going to uh, continue on. Right, just going to search these here. What's that there? It's a charge pack. I'll take that as well. So right, I think... I think that's about everything in here. Can I use this? No, I can't. So I'm going to head on through this door now. Oh, God. The flight recorder. What? What? No. God damn Right, I can hear the alien. I just heard something move. This is not good. And right now it sounds like some sort of uh, emergency activation. You could hear it over the tannoy. Right, this button's green. I'm going to press it here and see what happens. Right, look how it moved these shelving units. Uh, possibly some sort of servers. It's obviously some uh, techie. Right, this one's turned green as well. So I'm going to press that. And right, it's... Uh, Right, going to do this one as well. I don't know how many of these I've got to do. Right, there's something here. Right, that's the data cell. That's what we need for the access tuner. Uh, that is going to allow this to be powered up like so. So right now we've got access to level 1 locks. So right now I need to hack the elevator. So what that one was basically trying to do earlier, I can now do. But first thing first, I've got to use the access tuner to get out of this room. Right, which one is it? It's that one. This is quite tense. That one, and that one. Yep, that's right. Right, there we go. Managed to open this door. Right, so now we're back where we started. So now I'm going to uh, have a little look around and see if there's anything about which can uh, give us help going into the next section of the game. Right, let's go for this one. That one. Uh, which one is it? That one and that one. Yeah, that's right. Right, so anything of use in here? There's some ethanol there. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Uh, there's some more items in there. And there is an audio log there. And ID card. I'll take that. 
So right, now I'm going to head back out where I started and uh, see if there's anything else. It looks like I've uh, drained that area of everything that there is. I'm just going to quickly save my game actually, just in case. Because like I said, you never know what's around the corner. So I might as well, while I'm here... So right now I need to disable security lockdown. So I'm going to head through here. This door looks like it's open. Oh no, we use the access tuner, but we'll do that. Right, there we go. Right, which one is it? I think it's that one. That one. And that one. Yep, that looks right. Right, there we go. Got access into this room here. Right, so I'm going to head through here and just see if there's anything of any use in here. Thankfully, even though there's a lockdown, there's no sort of timer, which is good. Right, there's a med kit uh, blueprint there. Look at some more items over here. Yeah, got a revolver ammo that will come in handy. Right. So, this is the button that we need to press to disable for security lockdown. However, guys, I'm going to leave that part there. I bet you weren't expecting that. Um. I, I've got a confession to make. I did actually do this uh, during the making of my benchmark video. Um, I have played the game a little bit different this time though, and I was playing with sound off, etc, etc. So I sort of do have an idea what's going on. Um, so I know what's coming. If you haven't played this game yet, you don't know what's coming. But trust me, you don't want to miss it. So please check out part 5 where you can see what is about to go down. It's going to be absolutely brutal and it's absolutely fantastic. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Until then guys, bye for now.